Hey y'all, it's your girl Candice Lynn of Wanted On Me, back at it again with another wine video. Today I am doing an unboxing. Um, I recently received a wine tool, a wine product, a wine helper, I don't really know what you want to call it. Um, something that helps you enjoy wine even more than you already do. Uh, so I recently received uh, my Corvin in the mail. And to those that are unfamiliar of what a Corvin is or have never even heard of it, a Corvin is a wine preservation system that allows you to enjoy um, your bottle of wine one glass at a time. So what I mean by that is in order to enjoy the wine, the contents in the bottle, you do not have to pop the cork. You do not have to open the entire bottle. Instead, you can enjoy it one glass at a time. So to those that um, feel forced to drink an entire bottle because you don't want it to go to waste, you no longer have to do that. To those that um, when you're having dinner with your partner, you want red and your partner wants white, um, you don't have to open up both bottles. You can enjoy, each of you can enjoy a glass without um, opening up the entire thing. Uh, so today we're gonna unbox well i'm gonna unbox i guess you're gonna watch me unbox the corvin and if i set it up correctly um how it works is a needle goes down into the cork um and then you uh, press a little pump and then as you pump it um argon gas goes into the bottle and as far as i know argon gas i guess is an inert type of gas uh meaning that it doesn't affect um, the wine at all, so it should not affect the taste of the wine. It's just simply there to help preserve the wine. So you can enjoy it days, weeks, months. I've even seen videos where uh, someone enjoyed it a year later. So um, this is good for me, being as I'm a wine student, because I often have to open up bottles to do tastes and for class and just on my own, trying to learn. But I often feel forced <laughs> if you want to say that i'm forced to drink the bottle i'm never really forced i often just want to drink the bottle but there are some days where i just don't want to drink the whole entire thing um so the corvin's going to help me where i can simply save the bottle for another time so let's get on to it um hopefully everything is in the box because i literally have not looked at anything um I also cannot find my box cutter, so hopefully I'm not going to lose a finger because I'm going to use a knife. So here's the box. Like I said, it's called Corvin. It's called Corvin. Um, and let's just open it. I'm going to lay it down. Hopefully I don't cut any important contents in the box. I know you're supposed to cut away from you, right? But, ooh, that's a sharp knife. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. Wow. That opened. Yeah! All right. Okay. I don't know. I'm not feeling safe with that. I also like already on edge. I just broke a bunch of my nice wine glasses. So huh, I'm a little upset. <laughs> I'm a little hurt right now. <laughs> We're going to make it through. All right. So here it is. Coming out the box. Boom, boom. I'm about to break another glass. All right. Great. Fantastic. All right, nothing in the box. Boom, boom. Bam, bam. Done with that. Oh, hopefully you didn't see my address. Gotta remember to look at this, this camera. All right. Um. All righty. So. Uh, all right, here's the box. Here's the box. This is what it looks like. Um, it's the Model 2 elite mm, it's the model two uh i have used the model one in the past but here we go so let's just um open it see what's inside all okay, right i'm gonna lay it down again because this knife is really i'm really scared of myself with this knife all right yeah. okay oh okay it's a little packet thingy we'll go through that see what that's about Okay, there's another little box. Okay, Let's go through that. All right, the grand prize. Okay, I don't think I need. I don't think I'll need this anymore. Okay. 
All right. Oh, nope, you don't pull that. All right. Oh, okay. So here's the box. Listen, the Corvin is inside here. The Corvin is inside here. Um. Okay, here it is. His mama all wrapped up. I did get the rose gold. Ha ha. I have a little rose gold fixation. Is that the word? I, I really like rose gold. Okay. All right, so it's packaged nicely. It comes in a nice little protective box it was sitting on in there. I'm going to move that out the way so I don't break anything else, mess up anything else. I need all my space. All right. Cool. So here it is. Here is the Corvin system right here. It looks like, I don't know, it looks very futuristic to me. Um, all right, so let's just figure out how to work this bad boy. All right, so I'm, let's go through it. Okay, that's just some. Getting started. All right, so you, it comes with a little booklet, getting started. Let's open that up. I'll be the first to tell you that I hate reading directions. Um, I'm the kind of person that puts a shelf together, and then you real, I realize that there's a whole other piece of the shelf missing. So... I'm gonna try to do better in this video. I'll try to do better. Um, all right, so. Okay, here we are. So it gives you the instructions. It gives you written directions and pictures. <laughs> um, yeah, all right, let's just, <laughs> I'm gonna just go for it. I'm gonna just go for it. Hopefully I don't embarrass myself. All right, so. Numero uno. For some reason, the first thing of directions just has has no words. It just has pictures. All right, I'm going to go for it. So, in here are the capsules. So, here is one of the Argon capsules. Much smaller than what I thought. So, here's my hand. Boop. That's what the capsule looks like. So it is telling me to um, untwist this bottom part. Boom, boom, boom. Here it comes. It's coming off. And then stick the argon uh, black part, top part up. Just drop that down, down in there. Then simply just... Okay, simply just twist it back. Oh, uh oh, okay. Simply twist it back on. Oh, okay. Making sure that it's nice and yeah, nice and tight. Then, okay. Pull. Uh oh, wait. I gotta take, gotta take this needle off. Pull this little thing. This is what protects the needle, so you take that off. All right. Then, oh, clicks in a place. Pull it down. Boom, bam. Okay. Then you're gonna take your wine bottle. Sorry, I'm, I'm literally doing this as I am, um, as I'm filming. All right. So you're gonna take your wine bottle. You're gonna take your wine bottle and you are going to open up the clamp. Boom. Clampity, clampity, clampity. I have to remember to look at the clamp, clamp, clamp. You take that and you are going to <laughs> clamp it onto the bottle. All right. Bam. So it's pulled all the way up. Let me do that again. Let me do that again. So it's. This top part's up. You're going to pull it down. So hold it. It has a nice little handle here for you. You're going to pull it all the way down. So here's the needle. This is the needle. Um, you're going to clamp it on to your bottle of wine. Perfect for me because now it holds on. I'm super clumsy. Perfect. Can't mess that up. All right. So, so far, super simple. Just twisted it off. Put the Argon capsule in. It says all that. Clamp it onto your bottle of wine. Boop. 
Clamp it onto your bottle of wine. Clamp it onto your bottle of wine. All right. It's saying, now it does not say anything about taking the foil off. I, I don't see anything about that. I don't see anything about pulling the foil off. So, I'm going to leave the foil on. We'll do it maybe two ways. I'm going to leave the foil on. All right. Um, so here it is on the bottle. Can you see it on the bottle? Boom, boom. There it is on the bottle. There it is on the bottle. Uh, clamp down. Now it says quick press and release. This is to let some of the gas. Ooh, all right. I did that right. <laughs> all right. So you're supposed to, that releases the argon into the, like pushes out the air and making sure that only argon's going down into it. Okay, now here is the moment of truth. I'm supposed to press this down and the needle, hypothetically supposed to go down there very easily. And then I can simply pour my glass of wine. All right, so here we go. Three, two, one, I'm gonna press it down. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that was easy. That's a very sharp needle there. All right. Um, so now I have the needle pressed down. I'm going to turn it as if I would just pour a regular glass of wine. And then it says quick press and release. Oh, oh, okay. Did y'all see that? I'm gonna do that again. Did y'all see that? Okay. Quick press and release. Oh, this is crazy. One more time. One more again. I'm gonna do it two times. Give me a little bit more of that juice. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. I wonder if I, it'll stop. Hey, okay. So if you want it to stop, you can simply just uh, bring it up right. Um, I got a little carried away with the pressing, I guess. I don't know if it was going to stop or not. I guess it would stop eventually. I don't know. All right. So that's that. Okay. It looks as if it's working. So now that I um, pressed it, now there's argon gas in there to help preserve the wine so it stays good for days, weeks, months, maybe even a year, years later. All right, so now that that's done, um, I literally, it just says in the pictures, I hold the clamp. So hold the clamp and then pull it back up. Okay, all right. And then unclamp it. <laughs> oh, that's wow. Okay, um, let's sit up. Oh, and it just sits. Nice, nice. And it just sits. I'm still nervous. That I'm gonna knock something over. All right, so that's it. There. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. The cork is still in the bottle. I did not pop the cork. So ideally, this can last me weeks and months later i can have the same bottle and it should still taste nice and fresh as the first time i opened it um yeah so that was simple and i would like to point out i did not take the foil off i did not even have to take the foil off um i did hear some people say that they do take the foil off but i've never i don't know i've never seen it done with the foil on um so yeah i thought i'd try that so all in all uh, this was really easy for someone that often struggles putting things together. This was really, really easy. All I had to do was take the argon capsules, the little tin cans, untwist this bottom, put it in there, uh, the black top up first, twist it, twist it, twist it, press this little lever here and you hear it's like the gas coming out, just release the air, making sure it's only going to be argon going into the bottle, clamp it onto the bottle. Clamp it, clamp it, making sure that this top is touching the top of the Corbin is touching the top of the wine bottle. And then I simply just pressed it down. It went down super easy. So this is a sharp needle that went down super easy. Um, no issues at all. Look at that. The wine is in the glass. The wine is in the glass, but the cork is still in the bottle. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, yeah, so all in all, this was super easy to put together. You saw I put it together in a matter of seconds, just simply, I like 
the main thing comes together for you. All you're doing is simply just putting the um, argon canister into the Corbin contraption and pressing down the needle and enjoying your glass of wine. Um, so let me just take a little sippy sip here. Um, um, I highly recommend it. I highly, highly recommend the Corbin. I, um, will have to wait. I'm going to wait maybe a few weeks and try this again and see if it tastes just as fresh. Um, like I said, I'm really excited to use this because now I do not have to open up a full bottle of wine. I can simply just enjoy my mm -hmm. bottles, simply, literally buy the glass and then put it away. Um, so I do know to let this just sit upright a little bit because what happens is the cork is going to kind of like close in on itself and like reseal itself. Um, so that way it stays fresh. Um, yeah, and also I do want to point out that this will only work that's on natural cork. So maybe that's why um, you often have to cut the foil off the top to make sure that is to ensure that it is natural cork because this will not work um, as it's supposed to um, unless it's natural real cork. Um, so I'm just gonna end that there. As you saw, s simple, easy, boom, bam, done. I'm enjoying my glass of wine. The bottle is still here with the cork. I can enjoy it uh, far, far into the future. Um, so let me know if you have a Corvin. Let me know, does it work? Is it, is it actually working? Does it, does it do what it says it's supposed to do? Um, and until we see each other again, that's all I have for you. Peace out and wine it on me. Bye, y'all.